Hey everyone, so today you're probably like, who the heck is this? You're so super clear, and that's because, drum roll please, I have not only a new camera, but a new computer. So my editing will be better, my quality will be better, my videos will be better, and everything's just going to be better. So I found this look for you today. It's kind of a simple coppery eye with a bam pink lip. So... I'm really loving how this turned out actually and yeah it's just super simple you can do it with just about anything I really like it it's super simple and I hope you guys enjoy so if you want to know how to get this look right here and just keep watching so we're first going to be starting by priming our eyes and I'm just using this Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer and I'm just going to be putting this on all the areas that I really want my makeup to stay and just rub that in. I'm then going to be taking this CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 foundation on this Real Techniques buffing brush, dot that all over my face, and then just buff it very well into the skin. You don't want any streaky lines or anything like that, and the good thing about this brush is it really prevents that from happening. Next, it's rubbed off, but this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer, and I believe the color Radiant. And I'm just going to be putting this on all the typical spots you want to highlight, under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, the chin, and a little bit between the forehead. And then I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. small stippling brush and just stipple that into the skin. Next, of course, is powder, and I'm going to be using this Maybelline Dream Matte Powder in the color Honey, I believe, and just kind of put this all over my face to set what I just did. Next is bronzer, and I'm going to be using Benefits Hula, and to carve out where I want to bronze, or I mean where I want to contour, I'm using the brush it came with, and then this Real Techniques Duo Fiber brush to blend it in, and then pop that on my forehead and underneath my jaw. For blush, I'm going to be using Pandora's Face Blush in a Pout and just this e.l.f. blush brush and putting that all over my cheeks and then taking a larger stippling brush, blend that in so there's no harsh lines. For eyeshadow, for the lid, I'm going to be taking this mini Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to be taking the color Nude and putting that not only on my lid but in my inner corners too. For the crease, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Eye Studio in Copper Chic and using this bronze color and just kind of blending that into the crease. For the outer corner, in a second, I'm also going to be using the same palette and use more of this rose gold color and just pop that on the outer corners of my eyes for just a little extra oomph. I'm going to be putting that same rose gold color underneath my lash line. For a highlighter for the brow bone, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild shadow in Brulee. Of course, for eyeliner, got to use that Jessie's Girl, and this is just a black liquid liner. For liner on my waterline, I'm going to be using Maybelline's Define a Line, and I love this stuff. It stays all day. It's so super dark, and it doesn't fade throughout the day, which I tend to have trouble with. And then I got to pack on that mascara. And don't forget the bottom lashes. I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions, Rimmel Lash Accelerator, and Maybelline Mega Plush.
For brows, I'm going to be using Milani's Brow Fix Kit, and I'm using the lighter color for the inner part of my brows, and then the darker color for the outer part. And then after I fill them in, I'm just going to be using the spoolie on the opposite end to just kind of blend all that color together. To set my brows, I'm going to be using Maybelline's Great Lash Clear Gel, and this is just to tame those crazy, crazy brow hairs that I get. For lip liner, I'm going to be using this Jordana lip liner in the color Tawny. I get my Jordana products at Walgreens, in case you were wondering. Then I'm just going to line my lips. For lipstick, I'm going to be using this color by Wet n Wild, and I believe it's called Mauve Out of Here. I will have everything listed below in the colors that I used. And then to just add a little gloss, I'm going to be using this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Merengue. And I'm mainly placing this on the middle of my lips for an extra pout. And this is the completed look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos. Bye, everyone.